Hello, my name is Trag Shah. I'm a radiation oncologist at the Cleveland Clinic. Today, I'll be discussing the updated American Brachytherapy Society Partial Breast Guidelines. As an overview, we have multiple randomized trials comparing breast conserving therapy with whole breast irradiation as compared to partial breast irradiation. These studies have demonstrated comparable rates of local recurrence with partial breasts not delivered as IORT compared to whole breast irradiation. And there are multiple partial breast techniques available, including interstitial brachytherapy, applicator brachytherapy, and external beam radiation, including 3D conformal and IMRT, as well as novel techniques, including proton therapy, permanent breast seat implant, electronic brachytherapy. This is a summary from the paper looking at the randomized trials comparing partial breast irradiation therapy to whole breast irradiation. You can see that multiple techniques were used with different dose and fractionations, though these are all relatively similar when you look at the EQD2s. Also, target volumes were slightly different between techniques. Overall, the eligibility criteria were quite variable. A lot of the trials used age 40 and up, but some used 18, like B39, some used 50, like Import Low, and some used 16 up, like the Barcelona trial. Most required tumors to be three centimeters or less. Most were either no negative or limited nodal involvement with negative margins. There was variable acceptance of lobular carcinomas and ductal carcinoma in situ. This is also from the updated guidelines demonstrating patient characteristics. And you can see on average, the average age of the patients on these studies was between the high 50s and mid 60s. Most of the tumors were relatively small and very small numbers of patients were node positive. Most of the patients were ER positive with the majority getting endocrine therapy and a small percentage getting chemotherapy. Some of these studies have a very long follow-up exceeding 10 years. And what you can see at the bottom is that there was really no difference in local recurrence or survival, or in the case of B39, a very small difference uh, in the two outcomes of 0.7%. So what can we take away from these trials that looked at partial breast versus whole breast? They had variable dosing and volumes by technique, but similar EQD2s. They did have variable eligibility criteria, but there were comparable outcomes, particularly with respect to local control seen between partial breast and whole breast. These are the updated ABS guidelines for patient selection. They allow for women 45 years or older with tumors three centimeters or less, all invasive subtypes and DCIS allowed, any estrogen receptors allowed, HER2 receptor status can be negative, surgical margins negative with two millimeter margins for DCIS recommended, no extensive lymphovascular space invasion and negative nodes. That being said, it's important to recognize that there are some caveats, including considering the use under age 45 if they have luminal A features and consideration for HER2 positive patients if they're receiving HER2 directed therapy. We also have commented on the fact that partial breast can be used in DCIS patients who have margins between zero and two millimeters with shared decision making. This is a summary from the manuscript looking at the different types of partial breast and the recommendations. Multi-catheter interstitial was given a strong recommendation based on randomized data from the Hungarian as well as the Jack Astor trials. External beam IMRT was also given a strong recommendation based on the Florence trial, with 3D conformal giving a strong recommendation based on no difference in outcomes, though it's important to note that worse cosbesis and fibrosis was noted in these studies when it was delivered twice daily. With regards to single applicator brachytherapy, this was given a moderate recommendation as there's no straight prospective trial utilizing this technique. With respect to intraoperative radiation, this was given a weak recommendation based on concerns regarding high or higher recurrence rates. Additionally, electronic brachytherapy, permanent breast seed implantation, and non-invasive brachytherapy were also given weak recommendations given the limited long-term data. SBRT is also a novel therapy that's being considered with further data required. With regards to proton therapy, we do have five-year data, though it's non-randomized with small numbers of patients and further study will be required. The updated consensus guidelines also looked at quality of life, toxicity, and cosmetic outcomes. What was found that was partial breast associated with reduced toxicities, particularly with interstitial and external beam IMRT, though 3D conformal partial breast increased toxicities, particularly the twice-a-day regimens. SBRT is an evolving therapy option with ongoing studies. And this is a summary of cosmetic outcomes from the key trials. And what you can see is that really with the interstitials, there was limited difference and, and pretty good rates of good to excellent cosmesis. Really, the only area of concern was in the 3D conformal partial breast, where only about 65% of patients had good to excellent with partial breast as compared to almost 80% with whole breast.
As previously mentioned, there are some areas of ongoing study. One is ultra short brachytherapy with one to three days of treatment. Initial data is promising and Triumph T is awaiting mature outcomes. There is a lack of randomized data with these shorter regimens. Additionally, non-invasive breast brachytherapy has been studied to be used as a boost technique as well as for partial breasts with additional outcomes promising, as have been those outcomes with permanent breast seed implantation. With regards to intraoperative radiation therapy, there are two key randomized trials. Electron IORT was evaluated in the Elliott trial, and this was updated recently with long-term local recurrence rates presented and found to have a significant increase with the use of electron IORT. With regards to low NRG IRT, the trial most commonly referenced is the Target A trial, and this has generated significant controversy within the literature. Um, there are significant methodologic concerns with the update. First and foremost, the trial was not provided as an update of the full study, but rather two separate publications with the two strata provided separately. This is incons inconsistent with really how the trial was initially presented at, at five-year outcomes in 2014. With regards to the post-pathology cohort of IORT patients, these patients had increased rates of local recurrence that exceeded the non-inferiority criteria, and as such, this should not be recommended. With regards to the pre-pathology cohort, it's difficult to ascertain the long-term rates of local recurrence as they weren't provided in the manuscript. At five years, IORT was associated with an increased risk of local recurrence, though it was within the non-inferiority threshold. When you look at the long-term rates of events, which is not the same as the local recurrence percentage, it does appear that IORT has a two to three-fold increase in local recurrence events, roughly 60 versus 24. Studies modeling the rates of local recurrence with IORT have suggested a recurrence rate of 6% or higher when based on this data, though this was modeling data and not from the trial itself. Interestingly, this is consistent with data from Target R, which found an 8% rate of local recurrence with IORT alone at five years, as well as recent data from Silverstein et al. that showed with an alternative low energy IOR technique that increased rates of recurrence were seen at five years. Given these findings, intraoperative radiation is only recommended on protocol at this time. In conclusions, multiple partial breast techniques exist to deliver treatment, including interstitial brachytherapy, applicator brachytherapy, and external beam techniques. Randomized trials have demonstrated comparable rates of local recurrence long-term and good cosmetic outcomes with the use of partial breasts, though there is concern with 3D conformal partial breasts. With regards to IORT, there's increased rates of local recurrence that have been seen, and this is quite concerning. And we really do not recommend use outside of trial at this time. With regards to innovations in partial breast radiation, this technique can be considered in the cases of patients who have undergone previous breast augmentation, as well as with the use of repeat breast conservation. Thank you very much.